we're all a little obsessed with something. Greg has anime, John has anime, and Kathy, well, she has drugs. But you know, Kathy. Remember, winners don't do drugs. Well, uh, except for Neil Armstrong when he won the Tour de France, and oh, jeez, he went to the moon. Jeez. Kathy's right. Me, I'm obsessed with theme parks, roller coasters, amusement parks. If it spins, rolls, or does loops and I can fit in it, then I love it. You've got people who like rides and you've got people who appreciate theme parks, but I'm one of the few people who actually sit down and watch a Space Mountain POV and actually be excited. Wow! I remember my first roller coaster. It was Revolution at Six Flags Magic Mountain, and I remember that you could not get me on any roller coasters at the time because they scared the bejeebas out of me. I was pretty content with just sitting back and going, Go! Go enjoy your death machines! <sighs> but it was after that first loop that I realized I was missing out. Funnily enough, when I was younger, I hated theme parks. Well, not directly, but my parents decided to take me to Disney World when I was younger with the family, and the plane didn't cooperate with my ears and I had an incredible earache. Basically, my parents wanted to leave for Disney World when we arrived and I still had this earache and I told them that I hated Disney World. Whoops! Probably also had something to do with the fact that the hotel had a Nintendo 64 and Nintendo 64 or Disney World, I know which one I'd take. My parents being great people didn't care if I had an earache and took me to Disney World anyway and I honestly had a good time. I think it was 14 years ago. You can't expect to remember that. Come on, be reasonable. Roller Coaster Tycoon DOS. And that's Spanish for operating system. See, it says right there. Right there in the Spanish Bible. Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. 10 out of 10. Game of the year for 2002. Oh, I feel so old. The basic premise is you must design a theme park with roller coasters. This was probably the first game I ever realized I had a gaming addiction. I would spend hours building theme parks, just staring at the screen, placing things going, yeah, that goes there. In fact, the second video I ever uploaded to YouTube was a Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 video. It's good. The primary goal of Roller Coaster Tycoon at its core is to make a quality amusement park, and you must keep it from either going bankrupt or blowing up. Luckily for a simulator game, if you've got a basic premise of what an amusement park needs, you shouldn't really have a hard time sustaining income and managing the vast amount of tycoon options available. Basically, you need roller coasters. See, it's right there in the title. It's like a cheat. The game is split up into scenarios which have a variety of objectives you must complete in order to beat the scenario. Some of the scenarios are a bit easy, requiring you to literally just place a few roller coasters and sit there until you gain a bit of income, but that's boring, so you should experiment with flat rides as well. My recommendation is the spiral slide or go kart. Alright, let's take it back just a little bit. I would recommend the spiral slide, except the go karts are ridiculous. Everyone is obsessed with them. In my original script, in my original research, I thought that the spiral slide was actually the way to go in terms of making money, but no, it's the go-karts. Should be using go-karts to win over people you love. You wanna get married? Give the girl some go-karts. It's the only way. The scenarios involve going to a few places around the world and some other more fantasy-based areas. Like, for example, a farm, a highway, the inside of a volcano, outer space, you can make a roller coaster on the moon! The moon! One of the coolest things about the scenarios is that you can actually play in real life Six Flags parks and they were actually pretty accurate for what they were in 2002. In fact, you can even go to Six Flags Magic Mountain and see Revolution. It's a pretty huge coincidence, but it's nice to see these games having some actual real life attachments. This was a super neat feature and it's something I'd love to see in the upcoming sequel or spiritual successor Roller Coaster Tycoon World. The secondary goal of Roller Coaster Tycoon is build roller coasters. There are a huge amount of roller coasters to choose from, and sometimes it's a bit overwhelming when you're simply like, I want to build something good. However, you can make something that is incredibly cool by just falling around, or you'll create something that people will assume is the devil. Just falling around, I made this coaster. 5.6 positive Gs and 4.3 lateral Gs. If it's in red, it must be really good. 
Unfortunately, with an intensity rating of 15 and the guests in the park thinking that 5 is barely acceptable, nobody wrote it, so I named it You're Going to Die. A quick search on the Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, hey! revealed that an untrained individual not used to G-force straining maneuvers can black out between 4 and 6 Gs. You're going to die looks too intense for me. You're probably right, Leslie R. You'd probably die. I tried changing around the colors and the name to make it a little more inviting, but sadly, people still didn't want to write it. I even added dinosaurs and a cool little castle entrance, and I was a little bit upset when nobody went inside. The guess was, well, programmed to pretty dumb. After I realized nobody wanted to go and you're going to die, I destroyed it to make way for more rides. When I deleted the bath, all the guests around had no idea what was going on and decided to just scurry around the grass. I was putting them all back when I realized that one of them was actually me that I made earlier. I apparently need to go to the bathroom and luckily that reminded me that I haven't actually placed any bathrooms yet. So he saved everyone's bladders. One of the best things about the game is the customization options. You can customize everything! You can change the color of your rides, the colors of your roller coasters, call your go-karts names like butts, call your coasters names like wooden butts, and call your guests, well, names like butts. It's, it's beautiful. I decided to go ahead and make a few of my friends in my theme park known as Six Flags Over Butts. You've got me, Luke from Well Played, Dom from That Guy Dom, and Brady, Casey, and Whitey from real life. The first time I made them, I trapped them off in their own little area and they all got really angry at me because I didn't know that the game still runs whilst in alt tab. Gotta use that pause feature up in the corner. The second time I made them, I promptly set them free and Whitey and Brady immediately lined up for launch 341. Oh, well that's a good name. Dom told me that this path is disgusting. Whitey, whilst lining up for launch 341, told me that Money Printer was great. Luke and I just sort of walked around. Just a casual stroll through a theme park, and we did this for a good solid five minutes. Which is actually like a month or two in game. You've got to have pretty good stamina to do that. Casey was the most interesting by far, as he just kept going on the well named wooden roller coaster, Wooden Butts. Now, I'm not kidding. He would literally walk off and then walk straight back on. Just in a big loop. He really loved that thing. Really though, it's good fun to make a few of your friends and yourself and place them in the game and see what they get up to. It's like The Sims, but if The Sims were really small, pixelated, and really dumb. Like, like really dumb. In the way of customization, you also have scenery that you can add to your park to make it a bit more themed. I personally prefer to stick to a more garden-esque looking park in this game, because sometimes the scenery is a little silly. I don't think these two things go together. I'm not a geologist, but that one's in Egypt, and that one isn't. Something that many people don't talk about is the importance of trees. They can completely change the feel of your park. Wait a second, there's something behind these trees. Spooky, scary skeletons and Happy Halloween! We don't really celebrate it here in Australia. We sort of just get annoyed by people who come to our door and ask for things. Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is an incredible game that I always find myself going back to. It stands up with the greats and it has incredible gameplay and incredible graphics. I know pixelated games nowadays are pretty overrated and you get some really good ones, trust me, but there are some that spoil the bunch. But this game has an iconic charm and it's from that era in which pixelated games had a really nice style. There's a sequel to Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 called Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 and one of the main reasons why I play it still is because of the ability to ride roller coasters. And it seems like a small thing to some people but I really like this ability and the 3D graphics. But Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, as I said before, has that charm that keeps me coming back. Plus, it works on almost all computers in the modern era, so that's a plus. I can use it on my tablet that sucks. Also, there's another sequel to Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 that's coming out called Roller Coaster Tycoon World. I don't know too much information about it, and if there are any developers out there who want to fill me in, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is an awesome game that I don't think you'll regret if you give it a go. If you like tycoons and roller coasters, then this is easily a great game to rack up some hours in, and I've racked up about 300 over the years. And if you ever get bored of it, you can always blow things up. It's a bonus. Hello Internet! Thank you for watching my video and coming all the way to the end. I spent a lot of time on this. It was incredibly fun making it. I'm glad you enjoyed it and have come all the way here. If you're still here, 
go to my Twitter and subscribe or follow whatever you do on Twitter. Not many people follow my Twitter and it makes me sad when I post something and no one is there. So come join the party. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. I hate saying that, but it really does help me out with a new video like this that I've never really done before, and I like seeing your opinions. Also, I'll probably be doing a review of something story-based next, just so I can interact with it a little bit more, it gives me something to work off, and then after that, we'll start voting on what we want to see. Anyway guys, I'm Captain Laserguns, peace out, stay sexy, and continue being awesome.